guys, Tech Talk back here with another video, and today I've got some Apple news for you. So the first thing I've got, starting off with iOS 11.3 Beta 1 has come out. I'm not running it right now. I'm still on 11.1.2, waiting on that jailbreak. But um, iOS 11.3 is rumored to be what releases the toggle switch for the iPhone CPU throttling. And Apple was throttling your CPU if you don't already know. They were slowing down your phone as your battery basically wore out or degraded, didn't hold as much of a capacity so your phone would last just as long, but your performance wouldn't be as well. So a lot of people complained about that when they found out. So iOS 11.3, the final version is supposed to have a toggle or switch in the settings that you can turn off the throttling. It'll make your iPhone or iPad faster, but it will drain the battery faster. Or you can leave it off and it will have a worse performance, but it will last longer. So that is the big news on iOS 11.3. But the first beta, it is by default on the make phone faster. Um, turning off the throttling is automatically on for if you install this beta. So a lot of people have said that it for the iPhone 6 that it sped the phone up like by a world. So iOS 11.3, I would definitely update to that unless you're waiting on a jailbreak because that will slow down your older phone such as this one, this iPod Touch 6 generation. It, um, it has an older um, processor and battery, so it would be throttled, and it probably is right now. So I would definitely recommend updating to this firmware for older phones especially. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is the iPhone X. Unfortunately, I do not have one right now. I would like to get one soon but I do not have one right now. So this iPhone, there is a possibility of it being canceled sometime this summer because of the lack of demand for the iPhone X because not as many people have bought it as they expected. Mostly in China, a lot of people complain about the screen size not being small enough. According to Ming-Chi Ko, he's the one who leaks all this. This guy is like super accurate. Pretty much everything he has predicted in the past has come true. This is the first time Apple has ever canceled a device before it was the next one was actually launched, which will be surprising if they do that to me. I thought that this iPhone was going to sell out like they were predicting really fast. According to Ming-Chi Ko, there might be a newer iPhone X, like the next generation. It will be like a modified version, like there'll be an iPhone SE version of it. There'll be like the iPhone 8 size and the 8 plus size of this phone with a six and a half inch screen. I will leave the article of why he thinks this is going to be canceled in the description. And as far as jailbreak news goes, I don't know if you saw my last video about all these jailbreaks that came out, but jailbreaking is not dead. So I would stay where you are at the lowest firmware you can get to to jailbreak. I'm on iOS 11.1.2. Um, but iOS 11.2, there is a jailbreak coming out for it, so you should be safe there. But Houdini supports iOS 11.1.2. Topanga supports iOS 11.2. The um, Electra jailbreak supports iOS 11.1.2. A lot of them support the newer iOS firmware, so if you're looking to jailbreak, definitely stay where you are. That's all the news I have for you today on all the iOS devices and the iOS community. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to this channel and stay tuned for more. Peace.